Hi, my name is Eric Dahl from OmniFit and I got a question for you folks today. Do you have diabetes? The reason I ask is plenty of people, once they get to 50, 55, 60, may deal with diabetes. And actually, if you look at the world as a whole, there's over 422 million people, million that have diabetes. So I'm not gonna separate it into type one or type two. You might have heard of the difference between the two. But the one I'm gonna particularly focus on today is type two diabetes and how you can lose weight with three proven strategies. So as I like to say, let's get into it. So number one, I want you folks to focus on complex carbs as opposed to simple carbs. So what is simple carbs? Simple carbohydrates are the things that are high in sugar. You could think of candy, donuts, sweets, but also dairy products or even fruit that's high in glucose or high in carbohydrates. But complex carbs, whole grain oats, things that are high in fiber like maybe certain vegetables that you could focus on. If you focus on eating more of the complex carbohydrates that are gonna fill you more, this is something that you should do, particularly if you have diabetes to bring those blood sugar levels down. I know it sounds really trendy today is that people talk about intermittent fasting. So what is intermittent fasting? It's pretty much eating between a certain time window. So for example, if I said you're eating between 10 and five, you wouldn't eat any time after five and before 10. I won't even get really fixated on whether you need to fast for 10 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours. It really isn't about the amount of time, but it's also about how many calories you eat within that certain time, which is why people typically give themselves a smaller window of eating. So if you really focus on intermittent fasting coupled with keeping your calories down, that's a proven strategy to help with diabetes. So when it comes to losing weight, yes, diet to me is probably more important, but I have to talk about exercise. What are you doing for exercise? One thing I would recommend if you're trying to lose weight and you have diabetes is high intensity interval training, H-I-I-T. Do you do HIIT training? HIIT training is just basically moving your body at a faster pace so you're getting more workout for more bang for your buck during your workout. So what do I mean by that? That means you're taking, you're doing, going from one exercise to the next exercise to the next exercise. And you're doing it within a certain small window, which is keeping your body temperature elevated, your metabolism revved up. A great way to support you eating better is a great workout with it. Think of high intensity training. But I would say, folks, if you'd like to see what kind of workout I would do in a high intensity training, particularly with diabetes, please leave that in the comments below. But that's point number three high intensity interval training. So even if you don't have diabetes, I can almost guarantee that you know somebody that does have diabetes. And if you know someone, you can share this video with them. And if you do have this, I, I, I hope and pray you take some of these habits that I definitely recommend to heart. Also, as I said before, if you wanna see me do some sort of a workout, high intensity interval training, please put it, put it in the comments below. On that note, this is Eric Daw from OmniFit. Take care.